In Windchill, two college students share a ride home for the holidays. When they break down in the deserted stretch of road, they prey upon the ghosts of the people who have died there. I had never heard about this movie until I actually saw it, obviously, but I don't remember who recommended this movie, but I do know, once in my life, there was some fool out there who decided it would be a good idea to recommend me this movie. And notice how I called him a fool, because the thing is, it's just, I, I didn't like this movie. But it's not just that. I wouldn't say I hated the movie, but I was so bored of it. It was just so bad, for my opinion. Now. I'm gonna go more in depth about what I think about the movie, why it sucks. I mean, Windchill, god damn, what, what were they thinking? Now, this is a horror movie, obviously, Windchill, it's about wind or something? No, it's, you know, as I said earlier, it's about two college students, a girl and a boy, oh my god, and they crash into this car, like, they crash in the middle of a place of nowhere, which, you know, you can actually go to the road and there actually is somewhere, but either way, it's a place where it's nowhere, and obviously, somebody has died there, and there's ghosts there. OMG, have we not seen that before? Come on, Hollywood! Now, this is the kind of movie where you think to yourself, like, why am I watching this? What, what am I wasting my time in this? And you know what actually surprises me? I do respect people's opinions, but it surprises me a lot of people actually like this movie. They think it's, like, really good, and you should give it a chance, don't look too into it. But the thing is, if the movie is trying to make it way really too serious, as it is in this movie, it's trying to make itself really serious, then you should look upon this. Okay, for example, if you have The Expendables. The Expendables is not making itself too serious, if you have the second movie. It doesn't make itself too serious. You're not supposed to be looking too much in depth about it. The only thing you're gonna focus in that movie is gonna shut your brain off, and you're gonna watch some amazing action scenes, and that's it, you're gonna shut your brain on again and walk away home again. This is trying to make it way too serious. It's trying to be so dramatic, so thrilling, so scary, so spooky and exciting and whatever the fuck they're trying to do. But here's the thing, they fail. They fail in delivering what the point of this movie really is. Every movie has its point of what they're trying to deliver. Again, with the Expendables, you might not think that it's not gonna deliver anything because it's like a off-braining movie. Whatever that word means, but either way, you know what I mean. It's like you're supposed to shut your brain off and then watch that movie, right? But the thing is, is that it's delivering something, in case you guys didn't know. What it's delivering is awesome action scenes. This tries to deliver scariness, creepiness, with two people trapped in a car. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's trying to deliver so many different stories and so many unnecessary stupid twists. Not only does it make me confused, but it makes me angry and bored because it's like those twists is something I've seen before. So I kind of knew that this would happen. There's too much for one person to handle so many twists. And they're thinking, oh, we are a messed up movie. There was barely any blood in this movie. How can it be messed up? And the effects, holy shit, they were terrible. Now I will say this, the movie had one point that kind of made me want to actually watch this movie and that Emily Blunt was starring in the movie. Emily Blunt is the main character in this film. And I was thinking, huh, I actually like Emily Blunt. I saw her in Looper, I thought she was awesome. I saw her in an Adjustment Bureau, I thought she was even more awesome. Windchill, older movie, back in 2007. Huh, we should watch this. Uh, no. I mean, she's a good actor. I'm not gonna complain about the acting in this movie, but I will complain about the characters themselves. Now, the boy, I think I've seen him somewhere before, I just don't know, but I think I've seen him before. Either way, acting from anyone in the movie in particular was not bad, so that's good. Also, the fact that the character was not dumb, but Emily Blunt's character. What was her point of actually acting like that, you know? Acting like a complete bitch through the entire movie. And you guys may say that, well, she doesn't know the other person, so it's okay to act like a bitch. No, it's not. I mean, yes, if you are really, really suspicious, that's fine. But if you're acting through that way, the entire movie, through the beginning till the end, that is so unnecessary. It's the director trying to make a way too hated character of the year. In that case, they made a good job, but that's not a good thing. 
They made the movie just bad about that. Also, it's one of those twists where it's like the ghosts are trying to help you, but they're also scary at the same time. It's like, I hate when people do that because it is so cliche and so cheesy and so overdone. And it kind of reminds me of Pan's Labyrinth for some odd reason. It's just that Pan's Labyrinth actually did a good job with that. However, I didn't like that movie either, but that's a totally different movie. I'm not going to go too much in depth about that, so don't ask me anything about Path of Labyrinth because we're now talking about Windchill for God's sake. Now do I recommend this movie? Not at all. Would I recommend the movie for anyone who's a huge Emily Blunt fan out there? No. You're gonna be disappointed because the movie is just not good. Watch the movie because it's good, don't watch it because your favorite actor is there. I kinda did that mistake, although she's not really my favorite actor, but you know, she's kinda like a go-to actor in my opinion. Either way, I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 10. It was a really disappointing movie, but that was expected. I mean, 5.8 on IMDb, a horror movie, it's expected that it's not going to be that good. So, take it from my word of grant, guys. Don't listen to the people who actually give it a way too chance, you know, just to be nice and stuff, if you know what I mean. People are being way too nice about the movie. I'm giving you guys my honest review about it. I do respect if you like the movie. You can leave a comment down below, did you like the movie if you've seen it? If not, are you going to watch it? I don't recommend you to, but if you want to, hey, Windchill, go go check it out. It's a pretty dumb, boring, slow-paced movie in my opinion, so <laughs> good luck with that. And don't expect the twist to be like, oh, I didn't expect that. Mm, trust me, you're going to expect a twist. I'm not going to say what they are in case you guys aren't going to be expecting that, but I'm pretty sure most people with brains, I guess, would expect that the twists are gonna come and what type of twists there will be. There's no point of spoiling it. So either way guys, thank you so much for watching, and peace.